Welcome everyone! We are still here with Jean Marco and we are talking about Charles Dotter. This is the second episode of the series Voices from the Past Messages to Build the Future. And in this second episode, together with Jean, we will share why Dotter failed to spread out his disruptive method. So, Jean, what happened exactly? Which is the reason for his failure? What I'm telling you derives from personal dialogue with uh, Anders Grundig and Richard Meyer, who was my mentor and friends. Three points on the position and personality of uh, Charlie Dotter need to be in the line. They explain the why he failed to improve and disseminate the concept of transhumanal angioplasty in the US. First, Charles Dalter was a radiologist working in the department of radiology and not a vascular surgeon and not an angiologist. Indeed, I found very interesting what he wrote in 1964 in circulation. Interesting because I found his way to present the result of a limited research very aggressive and uh, he chose some candidates that probably were not the best to show to the world the importance that could have his new technique. So can you explain us more probably about his research? First, as, as you underline, it's very important. He say he, he wrote to replace surgery for the best candidate for surgery. This is a very aggressive way. But look uh, to the video. Judging from the requisition, our third patient was not exactly referred for treatment. Here's the superficial femoral occlusion due for endotorectomy. As requested, we didn't touch it. Nobody said anything about his deep femoral, though. A severe stenosis. It took only a moment to dilate it. Five years and 37 days later, and it's still open, which is good, since the endotorectomy failed, and without an adequate deep femoral, his leg would long since have been lost. Charlie Dutter was delighted in telling the story of all he got around the surgeon order. He was proud on that. This is very aggressive. What uh, uh, Melvin Jenkins, his fellow, wrote about Charlie Dotter at this time, his mentor, he said, Charlie presented himself as aggressive. Charlie frequently present ideas in a non-conservative way. This is what uh, Melvin Jenkins wrote. So even Jenkins recognized that indeed it was an aggressive behavior. And probably this is the reason for the lack of comprehension of uh, his, uh, his method and the spread out of his ideas. Because it has always happened in medicine, if we are too aggressive, the community feel that we can compromise activities or we can have some power, some influence. And so the answer is even also aggressive. But this means no future for this method. It was a reaction of the medical community, mainly the vascular surgeon community. No future for this uh, technique. I think that this is a very important message to keep in mind for us going to our future because to have an innovation that spread out, we, we don't have to be aggressive. We have to use a teamwork, so just not by ourselves. And above all, let's work with surgeons because we can probably learn a lot and we have to, to have a team with them. The third point is very important to underline. Ilse, uh, Charlie Dutter have a multiple idea at the same time. And uh, 
if you look again on the video with uh, hippopos or tablator or scalpel or everything, or, or, all the things, but all the technique, it don't have uh, one idea to develop first. You have a multiple idea in the same time. It did not define exactly first we have to get this step, this device, but multiple idea. And this maybe can play a role on the uh, why he failed. And what is interesting is that uh, in 1985, just before the, the year he, he did, he did, in the video, he say, probably this explain why I failed. Himself, say, probably my dad, you explain what, why I failed. And did he recognize that the aggression and the confusion in presenting his method was the cause of his failure? So maybe at this point of the memory line, I think we can recognize some very important messages. And I will say that we have to start all our personal project by clearly defining one or rather two objectives, no more. And we have to do that by answering to two main questions. What should we be doing and how are we going to do it? What's more, we have to develop a teamwork approach with surgeons, with colleagues, but we don't have to compete against them. And above all, we have to pay attention before expressing a negative viewpoint about the potential future of an innovation, because we could lose something that would change our daily life. Anyway, this was the history in the US. But we live in Europe and we know that this history came to Europe. So, could you tell us more about how the doctor's method made its way to Europe? First, Kara, I can approve the message you the line. This is the very most important of this episode. And then I invite everybody to move to the third episode, uh, moving to Europe, how Andreas Grunzik succeed in reaching the balloon catheter. You will learn that uh, by applying the message you underline, and their success. So let's stay with us. Thank you very much, Jeff.